Hi, it's Monique and welcome back to my channel, Pretty Salad Life. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite inexpensive fragrances in my collection. So for this video, um, there are a lot of perfumes and I, I kind of leaned, um, oh, not leaned away, but kind of steered away from so many Bath and Body Works fragrances. I do have two here. Um, and then I have three Victoria's Secret fragrance mists, but I really want to focus on, um, I guess some of the perfumes that are very inexpensive, but really, really project and are just some of my favorites and they're compliment getters and all that good stuff. So before I get started, if you're a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, Pretty Salad Life. And if you aren't a subscriber, I hope that after seeing this video, you will be inspired to become a subscriber. So thank you. So, um, let's see, there's quite a few here. This might, well, I'm sure it could easily be a part two and even a part three, but I'm going to try to, you know, get through what I can get through. So I'll say, let me start with this one first. This one is from TJ Maxx and it's $14.99. This is from The Good Scent and this one is Manifest. And so... If you know this line from TJ Maxx, they make quite a few fragrances. This one is really, really good. Um, it's so good. It's sweet. It has... Um, I can smell like it's a fruity floral. Really, really good. And so for $14.99, this one... And they make different scents in this brand but this one is really really good this one is my favorite and um like i said for 14.99 you can't beat it from tj maxx so keeping with that tj maxx line let me just keep going on um let's see i would say one of my all-time favorite inexpensive crazy compliment getter long lasting fragrance is from this no name brand um uh, from tj maxx and marshall's this one is pistachio and praline. So how I discovered pistachio and praline, I was on the hunt for the viral vanilla potion. And so I couldn't find that. I looked around, I couldn't find it. And I ran across this one and I tried this one. And, um, and then afterwards, I, I wound up finding vanilla potion. And I can tell you that this praline and pistachio is my all-time favorite. This lasts all day. This is a compliment getter. This is warm, nutty, sweet, gourmand goodness. And I mean, you get quite a bit in the bottle. And this was only $16.99 at TJ Maxx. So very inexpensive. It packs a punch, but not in a bad way. It is a compliment getter. You will smell it on yourself all day. Um, it's just a very warm, nutty, beautiful fragrance. So, and keeping in that line, this one, strawberry icing. This smells just like what it says, strawberry icing. You know, those strawberry cupcakes, the kind that are, I, I think there was Duncan Hines that had the little strawberry bits, you know, in the, you know, in the cake itself. And then that strawberry frosting, that's exactly what this one smells like. This was $16.99. I got this one at Marshall's. So very inexpensive, very long lasting. Um, and I'm just interested in what other fragrances are part of this line because I don't even know the name of the company or anything. And if you know, comment below and let me know. But I have um, Praline's Pistachio. I have Strawberry Icing. And I have Vanilla Potion, which, um, like I said before, Vanilla Potion is probably my least favorite out of the group, but I'm grateful for it because through searching for Vanilla Potion, I discovered Strawberry Icing and Pralines and Pistachio. So, all right, let's see. Where can I go next? Okay, so I'm still going to stay with um, some of my TJ Maxx finds. And this is Strawberry Milk. This is by Mimic. This is the Hair and Body Mist. Um, this smells so good. This also comes in, and this is not it, but this is Strawberry Floral. This is, I think, a dupe for um, Fleur's Strawberry Letter, which is smells spot on. Um, but I also have the this version of this. 
And so this one I think was only, yep, $9.99 at TJ Maxx. Very long lasting. You can spray it in your hair. Um, I have braids, so I really like something that can kind of, you know, I wear my braids up. And so probably once a week I take them down. You know, I clean my scalp really good, but I like to refresh my scalp. I use this and also I use the vanilla um, hairspray, hair and body mist from pink and so um so no stinky braids around here so but this is a good one this smells really really good very inexpensive very good it's really good for layering as well all right so speaking of that this one is like i said this one is a dupe this is mimic 74 a blend of strawberry floral this is supposed to be a dupe for um fleurs strawberry letter and i do have a sample of strawberry letter and i can tell you this is spot on so this one was only $14.99 at Marshall's. So, all right. So the next one was only $12.99. This was from, I think I got this from either TJ Maxx or did I get it from Marshall's? But this is Jessica Simpson Fancy. And this is a beautiful perfume. I had been hearing about this for years and finally, um, you know, saw it and picked it up. And I can tell you that this is a long-lasting, beautiful, beautiful perfume. There's another one by her. Um, what is the name of it? Oh, wow. I can't think of the name. But I want to get that one next because this one is really, really good. Long-lasting. This was under $20. I mean, you can't beat that. So, basically, you can smell good, um, you know, inexpensively. I, I'll say it like that. So the next line um, is good chemistry. So I have several. Matter of fact, I have another one in my in, in my room, but I didn't bring that one out. This one is a perfume. This is Coco Blush, and so this one I purchased at CVS. They had it on sale. I think it was nine dollars. But I love this one. How I discovered Coco Blush is um, my hairstylist. In her ladies' lounge, she has like a tray with all of these scents on it. And this was one of them. And I sprayed it. I fell in love with it. I looked it up. I'm like, okay, because I had never heard of good chemistry. And um, lo and behold, I was in CVS and they had them and they had them on sale. Then I had some rewards. And so this was less than $20. So this is actually the perfume. And then um, this is the body spray also purchased from CVS. This is a different um, scent. This is Queen Bee, and it smells really good. So I love the chemistry. Um, they're long-lasting on me, very inexpensive, very easy reach. So, and can be purchased at CVS, and you can use your rewards. And, and so I'm always looking um, to save money as well. So not everything, you know, sometimes, you know, when they have certain brands and stores, they're excluded from coupons. But this is a brand that you can use your rewards on so that's that let's see um where do i want to go next okay so this is a staple and i think everyone has heard of this and probably everyone has this um but this is pink sugar by aquilina you can see i put quite a dent in mine i have this is the perfume but i also have the body mist and it's down there on the shelf i think i can see it but it's down there this is um I want to say I paid like $12 for this at TJ Maxx. This is so good. This will sweeten up anything. This, um, of course, can be worn alone. But if you want to sweeten something up and just make it even more yummy and delicious, I get this. You you need this in your collection. Like, um, you know, you guys know I have been on this like declutter mode lately. But... I would get a backup of this because this is backup worthy. Um, it's so good. It, like I said, it goes well by itself. Just, you know, when I'm walking out and I want to smell sweet and, you know, uncomplicated this. Or when I have a fragrance that may be a little deeper and I just need to add a little sweet to it, I'd use this. And so this and the body spray. The body spray, I also spray in my hair. Um, Cause I love to smell my hair good, and you know when people hug you, um, no matter what kind of hairstyle you have, they can smell your hair. And so, you know, I'm really big on you know my hair smelling good as well. So, that's my little soapbox. Um, 
All right, so um, so some of these are body mists, um, but these are really compliment getters, and these were really cheap, especially this one. This one is Island Rush by Victoria's Secret. And I purchased this, I think for $5 during their last SAS. And this is called Island Rush. And so the scent notes, you know, the poem says, not the scent notes, the poem says, coconut cream melds with um, Tahitian gardenia and woods. And so this one smells so good. I wore this one day and I dropped my son off at his day program. And the um, one of the women um, who works there, Miss Deborah, she followed me to the door. She was like, you have to tell me what you're wearing. And so I text her the name and told her where I got it from. Um, but this is Island Rush and I'm spraying everything today because oh, this is so good. Mm. Yeah, this would be good. I mean, this is this is good whenever you want to wear, but you could wear this like to the beach, you know, just like an outdoor event. I love this. And I put quite a dent in this and I just got this, like I said, at their last SAS. But one of, one of my favorites and a huge compliment getter. Along those lines, this is Coconut Sun. Now I picked up Coconut Sun at a Victoria's Secret outlet. And I forgot, was it in Myrtle Beach? It was, where was I? It was either Myrtle Beach or somewhere in North Carolina, but I picked this one up and this is Toasted Coconut and Sunny Vanilla. And I'm sorry, this is by Pink, which you know, whatever. Uh, so, but this is a good one too. This is a compliment getter. This is more um, fruity fresh. If you know, it's like that kind of coconut and I really love it and I'm glad I purchased it. So it's one of my favorites. It's very inexpensive but um, people seem to love it as well when I wear it and it's long lasting. And so that's something I can just say off the bat about Victoria's Secret um, fragrance mist. All of them are long lasting on me. I mean, I've never had a problem with longevity when it comes to um, Victoria's Secret and pink fragrances. So, all right. So this one is the latest one in my collection. Um, this one I'm going to say was inexpensive because I purchased it on special. I think it was five things for $42. So you divide five by 42. And so um, this is vanilla bean and macadamia. So how I discovered this fragrance, I told this story in my last video. Paul reacts, you know, Paul reacted and then I reacted. Then Monique reacts. And so... He ran down to the store to get it, and I love this fragrance. And then I ran down to the store and got it, and I love it. Um, it is sweet. It's nutty. This is long-lasting as well. I Like I said, all Victoria's Secret fragrances last long on me. But this is long-lasting, and the more it sits, the better it gets. Oh, I love this one. I have the oil. I have the body scrub. I have the body um, butter. Now, I don't have the body cream that comes in the tube. And really, I don't think I'm going to get it um, because I'm like, I'm trying, I, you know, I'm trying to stay away from body creams. So I think I have enough. I have two oils, the body scrub, the body cream, and I have this. This is really a good fragrance, guys. If you haven't smelled this, this is new. If you haven't smelled it, this is a good fragrance. If you haven't smelled it, get your nose on this, get it. If you need to get, I'm not going to say backups because I'm not going to encourage people to get backups, but if you want to get backups, get backups because I imagine this one is going to go fast and then we might not see it again. So yeah, I love this one. So yep. And it's fairly inexpensive right now. It's on sale. I also had, oh, I forgot to mention, I also had $10 in rewards so if you have rewards and then, you know, you can get five things, this is really inexpensive and quite the compliment getter. So, all right. So let's see these. I'm going to, I included these in the inexpensive category because they're less than a hundred dollars. They're less than $80. And so this is Ocha Praise the Perfume, which is supposed to be inspired by Cry Bear, excuse me, Cry Baby. This smells really good. I think this was maybe 40 or 35. So I love this one. 
This one lasted long on me. It's very soft, very feminine, very just like a milky fragrance. And of course, I use it with my um, my Mimic fragrance over here, which is inspired by the same um, perfume. Um, also, Paul Reacts, That Girl Viral Vanilla. This is very caramel. This is very sweet. Um, this is long lasting on me as well. When it cools down, you really get that vanilla. I love the, I think the beginning, the opening fragrance is the best for me, like that burst of caramel, because I love caramel, and yeah, I love this. I'm going to start experimenting more with this one to see what I can pair it with. Um, I think I heard somebody say they pair it with Choco Musk. Um, someone else said they pair it with like, I think, Sarosa 71, or is it 68 or 71? I think it's 71, so I'm going to start playing with this more. But I really, really love this. It's not the most expensive, but it's very long lasting on me and I love it. So let's see. Um, I think my last one, yeah, it's it's a Bath and Body Works one. And I have many, I mean, I can talk all day about Bath and Body Works, as you can see. And of course, we know that they're inexpensive, especially, I mean, especially if you get them when they're $5.95 or, you know, you got rewards or whatever. But this is one of my favorite ones. This is whipped coconut milkshake. And the scent notes here are vanilla ice cream, toasted coconut, and sugared, um, sugared amber. This is so good, you guys. And this one is really long lasting on me. Mm. Yeah, I love this. I wish this came in like a you know, like an oil or something like that, but this is really good. So I included this because this is really inexpensive, but this is really good. I love a good coconut fragrance, as you can see, that a lot of the fragrances I talked about um, have a coconut element in them, either coconut or amber, and of course, vanilla. So, but yeah, I really, really, I really like it. Now, I don't like all coconuts. Some of those little more can't like artificial coconuts I don't like but yeah I really like this one so um I think I'm gonna start stop there for part one so these are some of my favorite um inexpensive fragrances slash perfumes um that I'm really really enjoying now so please comment below let me know what some of yours are if you um know about girl good chemistry um they have several fragrances tell me which one is your favorite um, what about the Mimic fragrances? Um, I have several others, but let me know what your favorites are. Um, if you love pralines and what is it? I keep forgetting. <laughs> pralines and pistachio, or if you're the vanilla potion girl, or if you have discovered strawberry milk. Now I can tell you, if you haven't discovered strawberry milk, please try. You will love it. And just let me know what some of your favorite fragrances are. And let's just keep the party going. And the rain has started. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, it's raining outside. So have a happy day and happy Labor Day. And comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.